All right, for a problem like four, the biggest difficulty comes in the, the idea of the additional restrictions. Because again, the only part that we have to factor any further is this difference of squares. Factors into the sum and difference of the terms being squared. Well, those terms are A and B. Okay, so if we factor it, we can now cancel common factors. A plus B's cancel. A minus B's cancel. And we're left with just the A plus B. Okay, but that's again not the difficult part. The difficult part comes in how do you identify these domain restrictions. And remember, the variables work in the same way. You'll usually start with the, the lowest letter or the earliest letter. So if you took each of these individual factors here that you canceled from the denominators and you set them equal to zero to find your domain restrictions and then just solve for the, the earliest letter. So if we solve for an A here, we'd add B to both sides, giving you A is equal to B. And here we'd subtract a B from both sides. A is equal to negative B. So these two values, B and negative B, are the restricted values for A. So it's A not equal to negative B comma B is how you would write it online. 